How can an evil religion maintain its stability? There is a veil which separates our reality from a parallel dimension that contains eldritch abominations. An ancient empire has discovered that they can harness the power of this realm by summoning demons across the barrier. This is done through the use of human sacrifices. The more powerful the demon, the more sacrifices are needed. A religion has formed with two separate modes of thought. One sect believes that these demons are tools to be exploited for humanity's purposes. This focuses on enslaving demons as weapons, using them for their powers and as servants. The other sees them as transcendent life forms to be worshipped and held sacred. By combining themselves and demons to create demon hosts, humans can shirk their mortal shell and ascend to a higher state of being. Looking through historical records, it seems that religions often break into various sects for simple theological reasons that seem silly, at least to outsiders. These can lead to schisms that fracture the faith forever, and can end in civil wars. I need a way to maintain this religion's coherence with these two ideologies to keep the empire stable. We are supposed to learn from the past to avoid repeating its mistakes. How can I design this religion from the ground up to maintain its stability? Make it canon that both views are correct. Give the demons a hierarchy of power and influence. The lowest ranking get enslaved by their superiors and can be loaned out to other demons or mortals who request a favor or service. These minor demons can be as strong as two men, have a weakly acidic touch, or similarly unimpressive abilities. As you move up the hierarchy, the demons have more powerful and awe-inspiring talents, such as possession or mind control. The religion can then be safely divided into pieces based on the hierarchy. The sect that believes demons exist to serve mankind can keep its focus on the low-ranking demons they can forcibly pull through the veil, the fact that they can be forcibly extracted as proof that these demons are meant to serve, rather than rule. Maybe those of stronger faith can drag higher-ranking demons through the veil, increasing the ranking of mankind in the hierarchy. Dark twist here, humans are just demons that were forced out of the other dimension for reason and are actually part of the hierarchy. The high-ranking demons then become more hazard than worth, reflecting a materialistic and cautious approach. Likewise, the sect that believes demons should be worshipped can keep its focus on those high-ranking demons that merely laugh when summoned and go on with their day. These demons have to be won over with prayers, offerings, and the like. Gaining a demon's favor becomes the goal for the faithful. Finally, demons are generally defined as malicious, vengeful, and delighting in the suffering of others. Subjugating low-ranking demons can be a primary way to gain the favor of higher-ranking demons, especially if that enslavement involves using the acquired power to inflict terror, pain, or death on other mortals. Your sects may bicker about which demon is ranked over another, or which is superior at a given rank, but they'll admit that both the worship of high-ranking demons and the subjugation of low-ranking demons is appropriate and deserved.